Hey Aliupa and welcome to my big Swedish adventure. I'm riding the length of Sweden from north to south. In the previous episode, I met a really cool Dutch guy, took cover from the rain in an old RV, ended up getting demolished by the rain later on, and was taken in by a wonderful couple at the end of the day. And today, my goal is not to get wet, but I doubt that's gonna happen. I don't know what it is with sleeping on the ground. I think I'm allergic to sleeping bags because my face always gets so puffy. But I am so thankful for this nice, dry, warm patio. Look at this super healthy Swedish breakfast. Yogurt, muesli, bread, cheese, and an egg. We've got kales, kales caviar in here. This is called kinekebröd. Good morning, good morning. Have you slept good? We have slept very good. Yes, it's good. I'm with. But it was hard to sleep last night because there was so much impression. I thought you had told me that. I know it seems crazy to put jelly on cheese. In the first day, I was an exchange student in Sweden. My brother was doing this, and I was like, "What?" But it is so good. I love it. And this right here is called a dala hest. We are in the land of Dalarna right now, the county, and this is where the horse is from. And if you ever buy a Swedish souvenir, you're probably gonna see one of these. And they're handmade and hand painted. And this one is from 1967, and it is a big one. This is how big the Dala Hest is. They are usually not this big. This is huge, but it's a nice, hefty, solid wood. Dola Hest. And before I leave, I'm gonna look at the weather. Oh, maybe I shouldn't look at the weather. Rain, 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 rain. Thank you, warm, cozy patio. Oh, it's always hard to leave a comfy situation knowing you're going out into the cold, but I gotta get to Malmo. Nu har jag vänner i Dallarna. Och vi ses någon annan gång. Ni måste hälsa på mig i Colorado någon gång. Det ska vara trevligt. Ja, det ska vara jättetrevligt. Men ha en bra sommar. Det är inte riktigt sommardag idag, men sånt är livet. Hoppas du får sol. Att det slipper regn i alla fall. Ja, i alla fall. Hej då, hej då! Have a good day, have a good Sunday, hey hey! Ah, my heart is full after an encounter like that. I was getting desperate yesterday evening and just saw him picking up his mail and I was like, hey man, need a little help here. And before I knew it, I was in their house. We were up pretty late just chatting. Kind hearted people like that make the world go round. And they're everywhere. They're in Sweden, United States, Mexico. I've met them everywhere. And it always just makes me happy, fills my heart with warmth, knowing that there's people out there who just want to help, you know? So no matter what happens today, no matter how wet I get or cold I get, I'm just feeling charged up, you know? That was a good night for the soul. And as always, no crashies, flatties, or whammies. And just like yesterday morning, I am very thankful that I'm not starting out the day in the rain. I like to work up to these things, you know, start off warm and comfortable. 
<laughs> Even though it's not that warm, that's why I'm wearing my jacket. I don't know, but Darlana, where I am right now, this state or county, whatever they call it, they might win for the cutest little red houses in all of Sweden so far. And here's the ski resort, Rume Alpine. If you ever want to come this way for our winter ski vacation. There it is. So I want to talk a little bit about trail magic. Last night was definitely amazing trail magic. Sometimes it just happens. You don't have to put any effort into it. And people are there just waiting to receive you. And then sometimes you do have to put effort into it. Last night I knew that I was gonna have to be a little bit bold and just ask people for help. And that's what I did. And when you ask humans for help, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, they're gonna find a way to help you. And Lasse stood there when I was talking to him. He's like, you need a roof? You can just sleep on our patio, we got you. And it led to a wonderful encounter. Sometimes on these adventures, you just have to put yourself out there in more ways than one, you know, physically and mentally. But you also have to have the courage to talk to people and ask them, because it goes a long way. And most times, they are more than happy to help. It makes them feel good. Now they're gonna be talking about this random encounter all day. They're gonna call their kids and tell them that they hosted some crazy American, <laughs> you know. And we're gonna be connected now for a long, long time. I've got their email, I've got the phone number, I know where they live. I hope I see them someday down the road. I'm still in contact with a lot of the people that I've met on my adventures because they mean a lot to me. Even though the encounters are usually very short, they're meaningful. It is time for lunch. I got a little cheese sandwich, a blueberry muffin, a couple bananas, of course my favorite Barbell's protein bar, and chocolate balls. I'm not gonna eat all of this, but I'm pretty excited. Skull. You can scold with a muffin, right? All right, here we go. Off into the darkness. Clouds are getting darker, no doubt. <laughs> mm. Well, I didn't beat the rain, but at least I got a blueberry muffin and a chocolate ball. <laughs> You know, the worst part about today is that my solar powered Garmin is not gonna gain any power today. <laughs> nope! Oh boy! Vilket vackert väder så solen skiner i dag. Hey, look at the cows. Hi cows. I always wonder if cows and horses hate rain and snow. They're like, oh, this sucks. We just have to stand out in here all day and deal with this. They don't have fancy rain jackets like us humans. But I guess they're animals and, you know, they evolved to deal with this. <laughs> nope, we're a bunch of wimps, us humans. We need fancy jackets. 
Where's your rain jacket? You know what I saw crawling across the road? This little toad. If I'm gonna save him. I've seen a lot of these guys smushed on the roads. And I don't want you to get hurt. Okay, I'm gonna move you across. I'm gonna move you. Oh, what a cute little toad. Yeah, buddy, you need to go to the forest so you don't become a toad pancake like all your buddies. Okay, you stay away from the road, okay? That way is bad. This way is good, okay? Okay. Have a good day, buddy. All right. I've done my good deed for the day. I've saved a toad, a Swedish toad. Just eating a snack in the rain. <laughs> Can't beat them, join them. And by that I mean just embrace the wetness. I've ridden 50 miles, it's 1 p.m. And I don't really know how far I'm gonna go today. You know, there might be a shelter out here. But then again, I don't know if I wanna just sit in my tent all afternoon. <laughs> again, I might as well just keep riding and stay warm. I don't know. When the opportunity presents itself, I will make a decision. It stopped raining almost. I mean, it's raining, but not as much. And I just want to let my bike take a little break. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a walk, shake out my legs. Woo yep. Oh man. There's my bike. Just taking a little bike nap. You've done a great job, buddy. Just a few hundred more miles. This is a nice moment. You know, and one of the good things about a rainy day is it just feels so quiet. There's like not a whole lot of sounds. All the animals are taking cover. Not as many people are on the roads. I mean, you just look out into the woods and there's, uh, it's just silence, tranquility. It's so fun to hear the birds sing. You never hear a bird complaining. All their songs are beautiful, right? They're not complaining about the rain. It's official. This is a magical forest. I bet there's trolls that live out here. <laughs> trolls and fairies. Yeah. Oh, what a gift to be here, right here, right now. Let's get back on our bike. There you are. How you doing, bud? Look at that lovely road we get to ride on. Sweet.
this 10 mile stretch of road might be my favorite road on the entire trip. It's just beautiful and quiet and it's not too rainy. Oh God, what happened? It started raining like crazy. <laughs> it was so nice five minutes ago. Oh <sighs> boy, this is the hardest rain of the day. And as you can see, I have a roof over my head and not just any roof. Check this out. I just scored myself a cabin. Look how cozy this place is. And I can sit here and watch the rain happening. And again, I just stopped and asked somebody for help. I was like, hey, are there any little stugor, stuga for rent around here? And this lady's like, yeah, go talk to Mimi. And so I went and talked to Mimi. Here I am, boom, 500 crowns, 50 bucks. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited. I mean, it's been kind of fun to ride around in the rain today, but now I'm cold and super wet. So it is time to be done. Yup, a little dirty out there. Look at that. I am so thankful to be out of that now. I mean, I can deal with a little bit of this rain, but this is getting to the point where I was just soaked all the way through my rain jacket. Well, it has, it's done its thing and it's like, okay, I can't block any more rain. It's coming in. So I'm a little wet and a little chilly and this was perfect time to be done. Done, done, done. I just took a hot shower. I probably stood in there longer than I should have, but man, it felt good. And the sweet lady who rents out this cabin just brought me a plate of pasta. Yum! Sometimes things just work out. I needed a cabin when I needed it. And it presented itself. I just asked somebody. They pointed me this way. Boom! Oh, and I'm so thankful. I'm so happy to be here. Because I don't want to be out there anymore. And for dessert, another chocolate ball. When I buy these things, I don't just buy one, I buy multiple. So the clothes I was wearing are soaking wet, but have no fear. You see, in Swedish bathrooms, they have heated towel racks. You just turn it on, and you can heat up your clothes a lot faster. It's not meant for clothes, it's meant for towels. But today, we're warming up my dirty, wet clothes. I just found their guest book. And of course, I had to leave a little entry. It says, it was raining all day and I found my way here when I was wet and cold. I'm riding all of Sweden right now and I love it. I was an exchange student in 97, 98 in Malmo and I'm riding from Kiruna to my other home in Svedala. Thanks for saving me from the rain. I love reading guest books. I love reading everybody's posts. Everybody talks about how tranquil it is and how they saw beavers and moose out there. There's moose out there? They're probably hiding from the rain too. Well, the rain stopped and I'm just sitting here enjoying listening to these seagulls have the time of their lives. <laughs> oh, so peaceful. What a spot. I really scored. This is a little piece of heaven on earth. Even the hard days are good days. And today was not so physically hard, but the rain just makes everything more difficult and more uncomfortable. 
and I knew that going into the day. Waking up, looking at the weather, just like, oh gosh, here we go again. But, you know, you just jump on your bike and you go and you see what happens. And because of the rain, I got the roads to myself and I saw some magic out there. I caught a toad, rode some beautiful gravel. So as cold and as wet as I got towards the end of the day, you know, it all worked out. And again, I'm, I'm just grateful to be here and I'm seeing a part of Sweden that I've never experienced. You know, where I lived was flat as a board. And it didn't look like anything here. And, you know, every day I meet kind people and they help me out. And it just fills my heart. For so long, Malmo has seemed impossibly far when I was way up north in Kiruna, but I've made it a good distance. I'm about on, in line with Stockholm, and I can do it. I know I can do it, but you know, I, I still have those nerves. You know, I ride my bike to chill out and slow down and enjoy the world, and that's what I'm doing, but I'm also feeling a little rushed because of the weather, because it's rainy. I wake up, I'm like, okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta beat the weather. But you can't, you can't beat it. That's just how it works. You can't beat weather. You just have to deal with it and move with it and uh, make changes if need be. And here I am. I didn't know I was going to be sitting here today. And this is a pretty awesome place. I didn't go as far as I had hoped, but... I'm happy now, and I will get there. I will get there. Just like at the end of every day, I get to where I need to be, I will get to Malmo and hug my family, and I can't wait. And until I get there, I'm going to enjoy every day, even if I get soaking wet. <laughs> And now that it's not raining anymore, I can show you the outside of my cute little stuga, my cottage. Isn't that nice? Hello there, and thank you for making it to the very end of this video. You get a high five. I am here to say, hey, thank you for watching my videos, but also, if my videos bring value to your life, if you love them with all your heart and soul, or even just a little bit of your heart and soul, please consider joining my Patreon. You will help keep this channel alive, but you will also get stuff. You will get early release videos with no ads, which is very cool, and I sometimes do Zoom calls with my patrons. You will have direct access to me through Patreon to ask me any question you want, and like I said, you're keeping this channel alive. And also, hey, I wrote a book. It's called The Long Way Home. It's about my very first adventure from Honduras to Colorado. And it talks a lot about how it inspired me to live an interesting life, to say the least. My mom loves it, so maybe you'll love it too. I will link all this down below. But more than anything, thank you so much for watching my videos. You are awesome. Now it's time for you to get off that couch and get out there.